I'm going to show you how you can easily transfer Blender physics simulations into bone animations. This technique involves creating vertex group and constraints for each of the bones, which is a very tedious and time-consuming process. So to make this easier, I've made a simple Blender add-on to automate this with a simple press of the button. Use the link in the description and select Releases. Then, click on the zip file to download the add-on. On Blender, go into Edit, Preferences, Add-on, and click on Install. Choose the file you just downloaded. Enable it, and it's done. Now, let's get started. I've got here a simple flag, which is just a plane with a few subdivisions. Select the flag and open the physics tabs to enable the cloth simulation. Pressing play now will make the flag fall down. To attach the flag to the pole, select the flag and enter edit mode. Create a new vertex group named pings. Then select the vertices that will be fixed and click assign. Now, back to the Physics tab, open the Shape section and select the Pings Vertex group you just created to affix the flag to the pole. Now the flag won't fall down. Create some wind. Make some adjustments until you are happy with the results. And add some strength to it. Now, let's create some bones. Add a new armature with a single bone, and set up the bones that will move the flag. Done that, it's time to use the add-on to make the bones fall in the mesh. Open the side panel, and select Bones to Mesh. Select both the flag and the bones, and click the Create Constraint Bones button. If you get some weird positions, you probably need to apply the scale and rotation of the objects first. Let's try it again. This will automatically make each bone tail follow the vertex closest to it. If any of the bones are not in the correct position, you can find them then yourself by selecting the mesh and going to the weight paint mode. Each vertex group is used to constrain that bone tail to a collection of vertices. Naming the bones before creating the constraints would help you find the right points here. After making sure everything looks ok, select the armature and click Bake Position. This will bake the bone constraints into a real animation. You can now delete the physical animations and parent the mesh to the armature. Select the flag, then the armature, and press Ctrl P and select with automatic weights. And that's done. I have another video where I explain in more detail what's happening here. And I manually do all of what this add-on is doing. You can check that out if you want a better understanding of what's happening. I hope this add-on helps. Thank you for watching, and until next time.